go to hell forever and ever and ever. I used to be a sinner. I deserve hell for my past sins. But I stopped it. That's what God commands every sinner to do. Stop your sinning. Stop your rebelling. Your anarchic is the God of the universe. Oh, yeah, play around with those and dance. You know, the dance in fire and hell in the end. Don't join them. All your fancy little fake dancing you do in church, thinking that save you on judgment day. You can clap in choir. You can get baptized. You can pray the sinner's prayer. You can confess to the priest.
homosexuality is a danger to national security. You ever heard of the story of Sodom and Gomorrah? You ever heard of that story? Sodom and Gomorrah were really filled up. Sodomites. That's where you got the word Sodomite from. Sodom and Gomorrah. They were full of homosexuals. They were so wicked, angels came in human form to this and said, let's go sodomize them. Let's break down Lot's door and sodomize these visitors. That's how wicked they were. You know what God did to that those two cities? They were so wicked. God rained hell right out of heaven and wiped those two cities off the face of the planet. So if you're a little homosexual in the Jonah Beach, you might want to watch out. God might destroy the Jonah Beach. There's a lot of homosexuals in America. Guess what? God might destroy America. Why do you think uh, uh, you know, Hurricane Katrina happened? A lot of the homosexuals in New Orleans. That's why Hurricane Katrina happened. Yeah. God is in control of the weather, and God causes those things to happen. It's God's judgment upon America. Because of how uh, wicked America is. There's very few righteous people left in America. All of you sinners, you're endangering our country. You're bringing us under the wrath and judgment of God for the way you're living your life. All your bikini wearers, all your fornicators, all, all of those who are lusting after one in the heart. What's that? It's not modest. You're showing up parts of your body that only meant to be seen by your spouse. Such as the cleavage, such as the back side, <laughs> the stomach, the thigh. Those are meant to be seen by your husband. Oh, you know what clothes are made for? Hey, his table clothing one on one. What not to wear? Clothing one on one. I'll tell you what clothing's made for. It's made to cover. 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 Clothing's meant to cover. Not to entice. Not to seduce. Not to cause some of the lust there to you. Not to reveal certain parts of your body and you look all pretty and nice. Clothing's meant to cover. So you to be living as hell like you. I'm oh, not ignorant sinner. You're the one living for your sin. You're in there. You're a fool. You're on your way to hell. Who's in it? The sinner that goes to hell loves his sin and rejects the Savior? Oh, what a love, Jesus. Rejects sin and walks holy. Who's the fool sinner? Who's been a fool 200 years from now? You who's in hell or me who's in heaven? You will know what fool is that? You will know what it is that, yes. Where's the Bible say that? Where's the Bible say that? Where does it say that? Tell me. Take a minute. Yeah, let's be still. You're in full fortune with God. If you don't 
stop your sitting, they're in trouble with God. Because one thing to be pure, the fire beyond, John says, but on the portal, pick up the Bible, obey the Bible, read the Bible, know the Bible. Jesus turned water to wine. Well, Jesus turning water to wine. Oh, I've heard this so many times, my name is Bonnie. Jesus turning water to wine does not excuse your drunkenness, sinner. Does not excuse your drunkenness. Jesus is not taking it drunk. If I gave someone a computer, we would be using it for pornography. Use it for email. Yeah, so, Jesus giving you wine and turning water into wine, sinner, not approve your drunkenness. He said the drunkards will not inherit the kingdom of God.
What's that? Oh, do you? I said, no, do you? I said, no, do you? No. I have one, though.
don't feel like it. Like other other people are filming it. Look at that beer bottle shot. Look at that beer bottle shot. Look at that fornication in your eye. Look at that blunt in your eye. You better get ahead of your eye. You better get ahead of your You better trust in Christ and follow him. You're not in trouble with God, sinners. All you bikini wearers. All you fornicators. All you drunkards. All you homosexuals. All you liars. All you thieves. You're in trouble with God. You better get right with God. Fuck you. God bless you, sinner. God bless you, sinner. God bless you, man. If you're a bikini wearer, go home with some clothes on. If you're a fornicator, go to the store. If you're a drunkard, put down the bottle. Pick up the Bible. If you're a liar, be honest. Be content. If you're an idolater, trust in Christ. We got changes, bitch. We got changes. There is. Wait, let me see. But they're not sin yet. Don't touch my thing. Don't touch, you. Don't touch my stuff. Oh, you understand me, sinner? Don't touch my stuff, sinner. Oh, you, you're Come a sinner. sinner. Come on, sinner. You're a sinner. Oh, no. You wish I was a sinner. You wish I was a sinner. You're perfect, man. You're perfect. I'm perfect. I'm perfect. I'm perfect. My past has been forgiven by the blood of Jesus, and now I'm walking in holiness. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. I am obeying God. Praise the Lord. I'm 
will say to me, Lord, 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 Lord,
He commands them to repent, Acts 6, 17, 30 says. God commands all men everywhere to repent. They won't. They're enemies of God. And just because they're responding badly doesn't mean he's doing something wrong. Just because they're reacting to the preaching badly does not mean the preacher's done something wrong. It only means that they're sinners and they love their sin more than God. But the Bible says that sinners are enemies of God. Couldn't you have like, a better way of saving people than the way God chose, not my way. I'd rather not come out here actually. I think I like to spend my money, come all the way down to Daytona Beach and, and proclaim the gospel and have people get mad at me and throw stuff at me and try to take my camera and all kinds of wickedness. No, God draws, the Holy Spirit draws. Okay, so the Holy Spirit commands us to tell them, to proclaim it, cry aloud, spare not, the Bible says. Okay, well, why don't you come over here and show us how to do it? If you care about these sinners, no, well, go ahead, talk to them. Go talk to them. Why are you, why are you reproving the preachers when you should be reproving the sinners? I just feel it's not about.